U.S. stocks plunged again Monday. 2022 could well be the year when inflation starts to hit adversely the stock market. Rising recession fears. Chair market open this morning. The losses were simply brutal. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. I'm going to warn you right now, there's a recession coming. You already know it is. For some reason, if you're watching this and you don't believe me, just wait a little longer. You're going to see it, all right? They happen all the time. Every five, six years, we're due for one. We get hit. Guys, you know this. This is how recession works. The market gets really good. Everything increases. Everything's great. We're inside of a bubble. Everybody's making a lot of money. Everybody's winning, even if they don't have the talent to win because you have the wind in your cells and that's been the market for us, okay? The market's been crazy. Trades are worth twice as much as they should be, which has been easier for people to trade. We've never had that before. Also, we didn't have to fight price. The last two years, we haven't had to fight price. We fought a little inventory, but the inventory is what drove the price. So every single vehicle that we've gotten to sell, all the prices have been through the roof. So nobody's gotten a good deal. Margins have been really big on the front end. Customers have been able to trade easily. Rates have been almost free. And now watch. The bottom floor on rates, you, you watch the feds, they've literally doubled the rates within the last six days. Now I'm gonna tell you this, the beginning of the year, they're at 3% on the floor, now they're at 6%. Look, I'm not gonna get into all that, but I'm just telling you, they'll be at 8% in a couple months. I promise you, stuff's gonna dry up, banks are gonna hold their money, cards are gonna go down in value, people are gonna be repoing. When repoing happens, banks are gonna tighten up on the money, prices are gonna go down, production's gonna increase, and woo, what does that mean? It's the perfect time for you to be skilled and crush everybody, okay? Listen, I have made the vast majority of my wealth during a recession. All recessions do is cut out the week. That's all it does, okay? Now look, if you're unprepared, dude, listen, it's a little bit scary when stuff starts to change. But if you're prepared, you're not afraid at all. As a matter of fact, you've been waiting on an opportunity like this. So what I want to tell you is if you're watching this, take notes, get a pen, get a piece of paper, and I want you to really slow down and I want you to audit your life. I want you to take appraisal of everybody in it as we're talking this next 45 minutes hour. And I want you to take appraisal of everything that you do in your life and, 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 and what you have. And just think that, hey, look, is this what I should be doing? Am I doing what's right? Have I gotten sucked into well, honestly, a lot of people just going with the flow, not increasing their skill set over the last two years. The market was good. We didn't have to work that hard. We were comfortable. I mean, honestly, we didn't even have to grind. You know what I mean? I mean, like 2005, I grinded. 2008, when the economy crashed, dude, I had to grind 10 times harder than I did in 05 just to make the same money that I made in 05 in 08. I had to work five, 10 times harder. Listen, that's coming back. Now, all I want to tell you is because it's coming, you can say, yeah, it ain't coming and ignore it. And you're going to be a part of it and you're going to get smashed. Or you can say, hey, you know what? I'm going to capitalize on this. I'm going to kill it. My goal is to teach you to double your income during a recession. And by the way, here's the cool thing. Recessions only last about six months to a year. So when they're lasting the six months, nine months, a year, however long it lasts, what it's going to do is it's going to take the mindset, the mind, which is the most important thing of anybody. It's going to take the mindset. And it's going to smash it. These people are going to start doubting themselves, questioning themselves, questioning who they work for. They're going to start thinking back, man, I should have saved my money. I should have done this. And now they're living in the past instead of living in the future. And guess what? If you keep your mind strong and you start training hard now, you can get ahead. And when that market shifts, guess what? It'll be primed and ready for you to take a land grab. Take it all and crush it. So if you train with me, you know I don't like to lose. I like to be first place. I want you to know I am an underdog, okay? If you've trained with me a lot, if you really know who I am, I'm an underdog. You already know that. Our company's gonna make 100 million this year. We physically are breaking every record in the world, but we are battle tested. Every single day we go back to zero. Why don't you write that down? Go back to zero. What does that mean? That means every day we live like we're broke, okay? I've got everything I need, but guess what? I don't need it, okay? I'll go back to sleeping on mattresses on the floor with nothing, I don't care. I wanna win. I, I don't wanna buy a Land Rover, I wanna build a Land Rover company, okay? 
I want to train uh, salespeople, sales pros, men and women, just like you, across the world to be the best and destroy anybody that gets in their way. And I'm telling you right now, as you're looking at me, I'm crazy. And I need you to be crazy too. Only the great things in life that were created were ever created by people that were crazy. Okay? I need you to understand this. This is really important. You don't win casually. Like saying, hey, I hope this happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get better. That doesn't work. I fight for my family every day. I fight for myself every day. And I fight for you guys. And I want to tell you, my goal is to be an example for you. The life that I've created, I've been able to do more in the last three years than most people could do in three lifetimes. Okay? If you will consciously, consciously listen to me, you'll change your life forever. Now, I'm after a lot of things, okay? I'm after health. I'm after wealth. And I'm after relationships. I want to have a close relationship with you. I want you to be healthier than ever because what's the value of living life if you're not healthy? Not being healthy, it's not worth it, okay? Right now, when you talk about your wealth, guess what? That's what you have in your bank account. Think about your debt for a minute. Think about how much money it costs for you to live. Think about this. Do you want to retire someday? If you want to retire, how much money do you need to have? How long do you want to be retired? Look, if you had a million dollars in the bank right now, you may say, Andy, if I had a million cash in the bank, I could retire. No, you couldn't. How long do you want to be retired for? 20 years? Well, 20 years divided by a million is 50,000 a year. Can I ask you a question? Could you live a great retirement for 20 years off 50,000 a year? Not a chance. So a million's not enough, okay? But listen, what's about to happen, I said health, I said wealth, and I said relationships. You need people, that's your relationships. Your health is the most important thing because it's gonna give you the fire to destroy everybody. And then guess what? Wealth will come from your health and your relationships, all right? But I want you to understand the wealth part of it, okay? There's eight billion people in this world. There's lots of problems to solve. You guys sell something that 100% of the world wants to have. You have to be in the top 1% earner and you have to be undeniably the best at what you do. I want to tell you something real quick. If you want to be a multi, multi, multi millionaire, okay, you will not do five, six, seven things, not even two. You'll do one thing to become a millionaire. And once you do, then you can invest in multiple streams of stuff and invest that million you made and then become a multi millionaire with multiple streams of income. You're going to have to get really, really good at one thing. And that one thing is what is going to create you to be a millionaire. I became a millionaire in the automotive space. Okay? And then once I became in the automotive space, I became a millionaire. Then I streamed my money. I have multiple streams to real estate, et cetera, and stuff like that. I'm going to explain this to you, okay? My mentors in life, write this down. My mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. Who do you look up to? Where do you want to go? What, what kind of family uh, do you want to have? Who has that family? What do they look like? What do they do? How do they take care of them? What kind of money do you want to make, right? How do those people treat their people who make a lot of money, right? Look, what, what kind of health do you want to have? Who do you look up to? You know, is he strong? Is he in shape? Does he work out, you know, every single day? Is he a business person who works out? Because if you look up to some guy, you know, who owns a gym, that guy lives in a gym, okay? I look up to businessmen who stay in shape. You know why? Because I run a business. I run a company. I own a company. I'm constantly busy. I'm building a sales team. I'm training people around the world. As we do all this stuff, right, I look up to people that can manage great health and manage that lifestyle, okay? So my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. So take a vision board. Decide, uh, I said a vision board. Take a vision board. What do you want your future self to look like? What do you want your future life to look like? And decide who those people are. And then I want you to get as close in proximity as possible to those people so that you can learn from them. That's the fastest way to get there. And then have a delusional belief that you can do the same thing, which you can. So here we go, guys. I'm going to talk about a couple things. I've got two pages of notes. Take notes with me. Let's talk about how to become recession-proof, how to avoid the market crash in your life, and how to literally triple down and escalate and win why most people are going to lose their mind and struggle, okay? So the first thing is going to be confident self-image. Write that down. Confident self-image. I'm going to tell you this, all right? You'll never out-earn your own self-worth. Write that down. I'll never out earn my own self-worth self-worth okay whatever you think you're worth is what you're worth okay if you don't believe you're worth it you're never going to get it okay i don't care what kind of opportunity you got i don't care who believes in you i don't care where you're at in what area or population look if you don't believe you're worth it you're not going to get it 
Okay. There's something inside yourself. It's called the law of attraction, but there's something inside yourself that says, Hey man, I can get this. And that craziness in you, which I was talking to you about earlier, that will allow you to continue to drive through until you get it. Okay. So I wrote down confident self image because I'm going to tell you this. Nobody's going to do any business with you if you're not confident. Okay. I don't like to be around unconfident people. Do you? I don't like to be. I like to be around people that believe in themselves. Look, even if inside you got stuff going on, you still need to run like you believe in yourself. But I want to explain something to you, okay? I need you to stop lying to yourself. Listen, stop lying to yourself. Make real commitments to yourself and keep them. I'm going to ask you something right now. Would you stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you? Would you stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you? No. Well, guess what? When you tell yourself you're going to wake up and go to the gym at 5 a.m. and you don't go, did you just lie to you? Yeah. And that's the reason why people don't love themselves. That's the reason why they have a low self images. And then lastly, they don't believe in themselves to actually become something great. Listen, right now you have to build your self confidence, your self image. You have to build your self worth higher than you ever have. Why? It's not cockiness. It's not arrogance, but you have to raise the standard. Listen, write this down. You won't always get your goals, but you'll always get your freaking standard, okay? It is time for you to raise the standard, raise the bar for what you're worth in life, what you're willing to tolerate. You gotta start saying no to some stuff so you can start saying yes to some other stuff. You feel me, okay? So right now as you're watching this, right? I want you to think about a couple things, right? What is my standard? Now what are my goals? Those are things you write down on a piece of paper. Sure, I want you to have goals, but you don't always get your goals. You get your standard. It's time to set a new standard. What is a standard? I am not going to stop. I am never going to quit again. I will not be beaten. By the way, if I lose, guess what? I'm coming back at you 10 times harder. I swear on my life. Okay? Those are things you got to think. Standards, the way you fight, the way you treat your wife, your husband, the way you treat your children, the way you treat yourself. Some of you, the way that you talk to yourself, the way that you, I mean, seriously, the way that you feel about yourself, man, no wonder you can't get ahead. You don't like you. Well, if you don't like you, how is anybody else going to like you? Okay. So this topic, this number one a strategy move here is going to be confident self-worth. You're never going to out earn your own self-worth. There you go. That's the first thing. All right. Number two. Commitments and habits. Okay, show me your habits, I'll show you your future, period. What is a habit? A habit is something you do all the time. You're always gonna do it. It's unwavering, write down non-negotiable. Habits for me are non-negotiable. I eat clean every day, it's a non-negotiable. When I don't eat clean, I don't feel great. I don't, I don't run at a high level. I don't run at a hot 120, 130. I cool down. I don't like to cool down, so I eat clean. A non-negotiable. What's a habit? A workout. I've got to work out in the morning. The way I work. I outwork everybody. I've always outworked everybody. I have to. It's my commitment to myself. Think about that. What is your commitment? Would you agree right now? I want you to think about something. Is there a shortage of commitment in this world? Yes or no? Huge. So number one, out-commit everybody. Never break your commitment. See this bracelet right here? Okay. This bracelet says committed 365. I wear it every single day. Okay. It says dreams come with the price committed 365. By the way, if you're watching this right now, okay, shoot me a text message. If you would like one of these bracelets, I have no problem sending you one. I'd love for you to sport one on your wrist. I'll mail you one. I'll pay the shipping and stuff. You wear it and just remember dreams come with the price. Okay. Let me give you my cell phone number. Ready? It's 405-405-482-1991. So 405-482-1991. That's my personal cell phone. You want to know how you know if I care about my people? I give out my personal cell. I give out my business cell. I give out, I give out everything. You know why? I give everything I got to helping people grow. Wearing this on my wrist always lets me know when stuff gets hard, only the hard stuff pays. Okay? This recession... It's going to break a lot of people. Okay. A lot of people who aren't confident in their own self image and a lot of people who are breaking their commitments and a lot of people who have bad habits. 
So I want you to take a pen and piece of paper when we're done and I want you to write down your habits, okay? What does that mean? How does your day structure? When do you wake up? When do you go to bed? What do those habits look like? And I want you to do me a favor, write this down. Kill, K-I-L-L, -L, kill. Like I'm killing something. Kill all non-income producing activities while you're working. Do me a favor, you're with your family? I get it, put your phone down, okay? Give them all you got. Don't get caught up on your phone, okay? But when you're at work, kill all non-income producing activities. Anything that didn't make you money or get you better, it's gotta go away. Deal? All right, cool, that's a part of our habits. All right, number three, fall in love with learning. This is where I smoke everyone. You say, Andy, is this recession proof? Are you kidding me? Yes, this is one of the most recession proof things you can have. Look, a lot of people learn because someone told them, get as much information as possible and that's how you'll beat everybody. That's not right, that's not true. You have to fall in love with learning. What's the value of me taking my phone right here, learning content, and then physically not loving learning? Look, dude, when you love something, you go to a whole nother level, man. Your brain is in a whole different gear, okay? You have to understand something. Every time I get new information, every time I learn a new close, every time I learn a new way or a new strategy or a new process or system that's gonna help me in life, dude, man, I get so fired up. Honestly, my endorphins are firing constantly. You know how some people get text messages and then they're like, oh my God, who is it? Every time I learn something, I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to use this. Like my endorphins fire to learn. So love, L-O-V-E, which means love, which is a strong word, to learn. Fall in love with learning. Listen, some of you are already on number three right now and you're already thinking, man, that's it? Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you can duplicate what I'm telling you, you will be unbeatable, unbreakable, and unstoppable. Guaranteed. All right. Evaluate yourself. Evaluate yourself. Number one, how do you speak? Write this down. How do I speak? Okay. Look, speaking is one of the number one skills in the world that pay and get people to get what they want. Okay. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to start recording yourself 30 minutes a day. What do you sound like doing anything in your job, doing any kind of objection handling, presenting whatever you do, it doesn't matter, but evaluate yourself. Number one, I'm speaking. Number two, evaluate yourself on your attitude. Evaluate yourself on your attitude. The number one road to the cell, the first thing that we do in anything isn't the meet and greet, it's have the best attitude in the world, okay? I'm gonna tell you this, if you sell anything and you close people on anything, look, do people buy in a good mood or a bad mood? They buy in a good mood. People buy in a good mood when they're in a good state. It's called a buying state. And the only way people are gonna get in a buying state is if you got a great attitude, okay? So evaluate yourself, check your energy, and then also, are you known for your badass work ethic? Are you known for your badass work ethic? Does everybody talk about, man, that's the hardest worker I've ever seen in my life. When that person's here, man, nobody can outwork them. Are you known for that? It's time to become known for that immediately. Now listen to me, I don't care how long you work. There's 60 minutes in an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour is who you are, you got me? Remember, 60 minutes in an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour, that's who you are. Another part of evaluating yourself is this. Remember I talked about health? Just I want you to do me a favor. I want you to weigh yourself. I want you to get checked for your body fat. I want you to just say, hey, what adjustments do I need to make? And I want you to evaluate yourself. Take your shirt off, get in front of the mirror, check yourself out and just say, hey man, do I like me? Do I like this? Is this a person I'm proud of? Okay, so with that being said, look at that area and then by the way, take care of yourself. Make a goal, make a habit, and then evaluate yourself so you can get to where it is that you want to go. You're going to need to be massively healthy to get where you want to go. You're going to need to be a great speaker. You're going to need to be um, the person with the best attitude in the world that whatever you're selling, people are going to be like, yeah, man, I want to do that with that person. And you're going to want to have winning energy. Write that down. Energy is something that's infectious. Write that down. Okay? When you're around people, okay? Are people leaving you and saying, God, man, I wish that person was still around. That's amazing. Every time I'm around them, I feel like this or I feel amazing. You know, I have a, a big facility here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and people come through all the time, salespeople from all around the world, and they're here with us. They just don't want to leave. They're like, dude, I still want to go home. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave this energy. I want you to make people not want to leave your presence because it's so amazing. Okay. So evaluate yourself, decide what are my holes, write that down, holes, leaks, opportunities. What are the leaks that I have? What are my holes? Try to figure out how to kick your own ass every single day. Don't ever let someone else come kick your ass. You figure out how to do it. 
Also, don't ever let anybody know your business better than you. What does that mean? Opportunities. What opportunities can you be attacking right now that you're not currently attacking? Okay? Guys, decide with me right now. If you're not making outbound calls every day, just an example. I'm not making outbound calls. Okay, what are we going to do about it? Number one, you're going to make 100 outbound calls a day or you're going to sell a car regardless. One or the other is going to happen. If you don't have, haven't sold a car for the day, you're going to make 100 outbound calls. Maybe it's two cars sold or 200 outbound calls. Okay? Press yourself. Test yourself. Put pressure on yourself to go to the next level. The goal, the entire part of this is about total recreation. Okay? So going through the fire is going to be point number five. What is, what is going through the fire? That means this. Are you willing to go through some things that are tough? Are you willing to endure pain? Are you willing to suffer short-term for long-term gain? Listen, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of people won't go in the fire when things get hot and, they, and things get hard. They do one thing. They sell their will to win. Write that down. Sell my will to win. What does that mean, sell my will to win? Well, it's pretty simple. You want something, right? Right? Yeah, so you're driven, you're driving, you're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? You're getting motivated. But guess what? You get frustrated. Things get hard. You get rejected, right? You know, you don't feel like doing it anymore. People don't believe in you. People start talking crap on you. You know what happens? Maybe you have a bad day with the wife, bad day with the family, make a couple bad, bad paychecks. Don't, you know, have a, customers, uh, a couple customers back out on you. Guess what happens? All of a sudden, you hit the grind, you get frustrated, and then you sell your will to win. Boom! You sell it. You weren't gonna sell it. At one point you almost sold it, and then you held on, and then you finally sold it, okay? Don't ever do that. I wanna tell you a flip side to selling your will to win. Number one, it could be things just happen and they're so tough and you're going through the fire, so you sell your will to win because you can't hang on anymore. So you quit. You give up on something and you settle. That's it. Most people settle. This is 99% of the world, okay? Don't let this be you. This is how you're going to win through a recession, okay? But also, what if things are going phenomenal? They're going great. Things are going better than you've ever imagined in your entire life. You're jacked up. You're fired up. You're making more money. And then all of a sudden, guess what? You sell your will to keep your standards running high. You sell your will because, guess what? Your fire, your stirred upness, the way that you stay stirred up constantly, pushing yourself, saying, hey, man, I'm going back to zero. Guys, not having that I've arrived attitude, right? I, have you known somebody that's had that attitude? Like, hey, I've made it. I've arrived. My ego, my entitlement, my pride. Those things, that is still another version of selling your will to win. Why? Because somewhere inside you get comfortable. Your will to win is what's always drove you and kept ahead of everybody. But now you've let off the gas. Someone else is about to pass you. Pass you and that's called selling your will, okay? So going through the fire is a big one for me. And I see a lot of people break and sell their will to win. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Okay. Also, you got to know when to pay attention to the competition and then when to ignore them. Okay. This is a big deal. So number one, I run with my blinders on like this. I don't look at anybody else. I know what's going on in my business. I know what my goals are. I know what my standards are. I know what I want. I know where my skill set should be. I know everything that I want. But guess what happens? I have people that as I'm getting better, as I'm gaining ground, as I'm growing, as I'm doing stuff, they're over here on the other side and they're getting better also because I'm encouraging and motivating them. My goal is that, look, don't ever underestimate your competition. Write that down. Listen to me. I'm not asking you to pay attention to them, okay? There's a time to ignore them. But then also there's a time to say, hey, man, you know what? I'm not going to underestimate them either, okay? And you know what that does? That keeps me stirred up. Write this down, chip on my shoulder, chip on my shoulder, okay? It's four words. I want you to think about those four words. Do you carry a chip on your shoulder at all time? Somebody's coming, trying to take it all away from you in the next 24 hours? You need to be. This is a market strategy plan. This is an internal filling that operates the entire machine, which is you while you work and do everything you do in life. You know, a lot of people, they can have a tactical strategy, right? And I'm going to give you something. They can have a tactical strategy. But internally, you're not built for like a machine for the freaking mission. So you know what happens? The tactical strategy don't work and you don't make it, period. I watch people break all the time. 
So I'm teaching you how to make it through hard times, how to go through the fire, when to pay attention to your competition, and when to not, okay? Also, there needs to be a time when you're patient and a time when you're impatient, okay? You're gonna need to do both. Number one, I wanna tell you this, right? If you'll be patient enough to do one thing, make a plan, listen to everything we're doing right now, and be committed to making this happen for the next 365 days. And you can be patient for 365 days. You are going to kill it. You will look up in one year and you will have done what most people couldn't do in three lifetimes. I guarantee you. Most people will take them 30 years to do what you could have done in 30 days. But you have to be patient. You have to stay at it. You have to keep that drive high while you're doing it. One of the big deals that I want you to notice is this. When to be impatient. Well, number one, I like fast wins. You know what that means? Everything that I'm telling you to do right now, how fast can you execute on this? How long will it take you to put all of these points into place? You need to be impatient on this. Confidence, okay? Self-image. Communication, right? Your commitments and habits. Fall in love with learning. I told you, love it more than anybody else. Most people want to do it because they want to make money. I want to do it because I want to be the best. Okay, evaluating yourself, head to toe, A to Z, all the way around. Going through the fire, be willing to never to sell your will to win. Ever, 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 no matter what, you're never gonna sell your will to win. When to pay attention to the competition, when not to. When to be patient, when to be impatient, okay? Think about all these as you're taking notes with me. Now, surround yourself with the right people. Listen, if you don't surround yourself with the right people, you're not gonna make it, okay? Now, I wanna tell you something, what does that mean? That means get in bigger rooms with people that are doing better. If you get in rooms with people that are doing better, you are going to do amazing. You know why? Because people who are winning have winning dialogues. And winning dialogues is a winning language. And I like being around that. That pushes me, that fires me, that inspires me. Winners work hard. Get around the right people. Listen, right now is the time to let nothing drain your energy. Write that down. Let nothing drain my energy. As a top producer, I will let nothing drain my energy. Nothing. If something drains your energy, guess what? Get rid of them. It's that simple, okay? You're going to need it for the fight. Okay, so as we're talking about all these different things, people have a lot to do with influencing people. Make sure you surround yourself with people who are on the same mission as you. Some of you guys might need to be a loner until you find the right person, okay? You might need to be. It's lonely at the top sometimes. Okay? But you're going to have plenty of people join you. Your goal is to constantly be looking for people who level you up, get close to those people, and then grow with them. Just like you're doing with me here right now. Listen, all I want to do is this, and I want you to make more money, and I want you to be recession-proof, and I want you to have a market crash strategy, but really what I want you to do is become a different person. That's it. One that your wife admires, one that your husband admires, one that your kids admire. You admire other people when they do business with you. That's what I'm about. Jim Rohn always said, it's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming. I want you to become who you're supposed to be. It's just that I need you to do it now. We have to do it immediately, like today. So if you're watching this right now, understand this. The time, it's ticking, it's running out. Everything in life is on a time clock, okay? The only way to beat the clock is to put all these things in a row, okay? And fire at them as fast as possible. Let nothing distract you. I would take these goals that I have and I would hang them in my house. I'd hang them in my car. I'd hang them at work. I'd have them everywhere. You know why? Because this is what I'd eat, sleep, and breathe. And I wouldn't let anybody else get into my head. I'd stay laser focused. And guess what? My intensity whew, be through the freaking roof, okay? So when to be patient, when not to be. Surround yourself with the right people. And then doing what you love and love what you're doing. Man, guys, I love sales. I love closing. I love business. I love my team. I love people, okay? I love it. Guys, write this down. I don't have to do it. I get to do it. See, people that are going to get busted up in a recession, they feel like they have to do it. Anytime you have to do something, guess what? You're not going to do it very well. You're not going to do it with lots of passion. You're not going to do it with lots of love. And you're damn sure not going to take care of the people around you. Have to do it versus get to do it. It's a totally different deal. Now, if I get to do something and I love it and I'm doing what I love, guess what? Nobody can beat me. 
You know why we have the number one sales training company in the world? Because I love seeing you guys get results. And I'm gonna give you so much results you're not even gonna know what to do. I guarantee you this. If you'll listen to me right now, if you're coachable, listen, are you, are you listening to me right now just for like information for one certain strategy? Or are you training with me right now with the intent to dominate and become the best? Because if that's you and you're listening to this, it's over. You'll crush everybody. Fall in love with, with what you do. Be different. Be the separator. You know what the separator is? It's what separates you from everyone else. Be the separator, the real true one percenter, not like the other 99, okay? So doing what you love, love what you do. And now I want to say one more thing. Stick with your bread and butter. What does that mean? Well, as the market starts to shift, a lot of people are going to be like, dude, should I, should I keep selling cars or should I go do solar or should I go sell insurance? Andy, I think, I think I'm going to start selling insurance. Wait a minute, I think I'm going to go over here and I'm going to sell real estate. Stick with your bread and butter. Look, man, what have you been training to do? What are you great at? Okay? All you have to do is become great at one thing and you'll become filthy rich. One thing. That's it. Some of the best advice I've ever gotten was, Andy, stick with what you're great at. Okay? Now, I'm not telling you you can't switch one day. But I'm telling you right now, at any time there's a market shift coming up, guess what? Now's the time to buckle down and be the best in the world at what you do and the whole world will do what? Attract to you. Because why everyone else is lost. And see, the cool thing, what I love about lost people is lost people don't know they're lost. But we can see when you're lost, right? So if you love what you do, guess what? Everybody else is going to look like amateurs and you're going to look like the freaking badass. So you got to make sure that love what you do and stick to your bread and butter. If those two churn together, it's over. All right, create your own reality. What's your own reality mean? Look, I create my own re economy. I, I create my own reality. What does that mean? Andy, this is how your life's going to look. You're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to get up at five. You're going to slam the gym. You're going to clang and bang some weights. You're going to rock and roll. You're going to come home. You're going to get dressed. You're going to spend time with your wife and your kids. And then you're going to go off to work for the day. When you go to work, you're going to have the best sales meeting in the world with your team. Nobody's going to be able to stop you. Nobody. You're going to crush it. You're going to gain ground. You're going to take over the world. Literally, you are unbreakable, Andy. I create my own reality. Our company is going to grow today. We're going to grow 20 or 30%. Everybody's going to say yes. We are all going to another level. Andy, your people that you train today are going to have better lives. They're going to be closer to their families. They're going to feel more fulfilled than ever, and they're going to fall in love with what they're doing. Guys, listen, create your own reality. When I started my training company and I said, we're going to have the world's number one sales training program, I believed that in my head, and I stayed on it for the last four to, what, three to four years. You guys have seen me every single day. And now it's a reality, okay? Look, create your own reality. What do you want? Well, it's your life. As long as you want it, you'll create it, go get it. And if you're around the right people, they'll let you live that life and create your own reality. But if you're around the wrong people, just so you are aware of who are these right people, who are the wrong people, when you're trying to create your own reality, people who aren't with you will say, hey man, what are you doing, dude? You kind of look stupid when you do that. Don't get caught up in that, okay? All right, a life worth living. What does that mean, a life worth living? What kind of life do you want? Take a pen right now, take a piece of paper. What kind of life do you want? What kind of life do you want your family to have? What kind of lifestyle do you want your family to have? Look, my goal in life was to have heaven on earth. You know what that means? Take care of people, make sure that they're winning, and be able to have a good lifestyle for my family. That's called heaven on earth. It's all I ever wanted. I never got in this game to be rich. It wasn't ever the plan. But then you know what happened along, uh, along the way? Everybody opted out of winning, which means they've opted into losing. They quit caring. They quit, they quit fighting for themselves. They quit fighting for their families. I was like, dude, if I keep going on this path, no matter what happens, I'm going to end up being wealthy. Why? Just because I'm the best at what I do. And that's what I want with you. Your plan may not to be be rich or maybe it is, but how will it happen? We got to be undeniably the best at what you do, but find your life worth living. Remember why you started. So many people don't remember why they started. Why are you here? What's the whole purpose of being in sales? What's the goal? What do you want to do? Okay. Why did you get in? Why didn't you work a normal salary job? Why not? 
Something inside of you said, man, I'm worth more. I want to go get it. But along the way, you're around all these people that want you to settle. Don't settle. Don't, don't you dare concrete your feet in the ground and settle like everyone else around you. You got to stay crazy. And by the way, I'm going to warn you right now. This is one of your warnings. When you don't settle and you do everything that I just told you to do, when you don't settle, there's going to be conflict for sure. People ain't going to like it. But if you'll persevere and you'll stay on the path, and guess what? You're willing to go through the fire and do everything I just told you to do. In the end, they'll be telling stories about how they met you and you changed their life. Just never forget that. All right, make a hit list. Write this down. Look, dude, how are you going to stay stirred up? How are you going to stay fired up? How are you going to want to go win? How do people make it through a recession? They stay stirred up. All right, what are we going to chase? We're not going to chase money. Okay, money's going to come because we're going to do our job great. We're going to become the best. We're going to take care of people. You're going to make a hit list. Right now, I want you to write on a piece of paper the five people you know that are ahead of you that you want to take out. The first person on my list when I got in the automotive space was Grant Cardone. That was on my hit list. I said, man, I'm going to kick Grant Cardone out of the automotive space. That was on my hit list. Now, you got to remember, I didn't have a team. I didn't have anybody. I was sitting at home by myself, and I was, sitting YouTube. I was shooting YouTube videos when nobody was watching but I had a hit list. Guess what? One by one, I worked my way down until I crossed Grant's name off the list and we kicked him out of the automotive space. Is he a great guy? Yeah, he does real estate. You know what? I kicked him out of the automotive space. That was my goal. He was on my hit list. Now I'm sharing this with you because who's on your hit list? Don't be picking baby small names. If you wanna have a big life, guess what? Pick big names, okay? You wanna have a small life? Pick small average names that are easy to hit. Think about five people that you know that do what you do, that you want to do better than them and you want to crush them and take them out. Guess what? Right here, make a hit list. I don't wish bad on these people. I just want to take them out and be the best. That's my goal. And I stay stirred up to do it and that's called my hit list. So you want to make it through a recession? I'm just going to tell you. Make a hit list so you stay fired up. Make sure every single day you're reviewing that hit list so you keep those people's names in front of your face so it drives you through the day to make sure when you go to work, you're going to work to make them pay and hit that you know, hit list number. Mark them off one at a time. All right, mindset. This is a big deal. If you can't take over your mind, you can't take over the world. Now listen, you may have heard a lot of mindset stuff already. I'm just going to explain this. Here's what a recession looks like. Something crashes, income goes down, People start to blame. Rule number one, don't blame anything on anybody. Everything you do, right, is your fault, good or bad. Now listen, we talk about mindset, and I'm going to explain something to you that you're going to need to learn to control, okay? What you do today will pay off in 90 days. So I want you to think in your mind, every activity, everything that you're doing, everything, you're not going to see the result today. Some of it you'll see a little bit, but you know what? What you're seeing today is what you did 90 days ago. 90 days ago, if you didn't do the stuff I'm talking about right now, if you're grinding it and you're not doing well right now, you're paying for what you didn't do 90 days ago today. So as you go to change this stuff, remember I told you to be patient and impatient? Understand in 90 days, all these things you're putting into play, how to become a champion, all this, guess what? It'll freaking pay off in your life and in 90 days you'll have everything you want. Guarantee it. Okay, when you're in the gym working out, man, guess what? You're getting a body that, you, my bad. When you're in the gym smashing it, guess what? The work you're putting in today, you're not gonna see till next month. That's it. And the true body you wanna have, you might not see it for 90 days. So when you're working out, you got to think, man, boom, this is what I want to look like. And I'm working out to get there, not looking in the mirror and then working out the way you look right now. Okay. So very simply said, make a hit list, own your mindset. And this is really, really important. A lot of people don't understand the difference. They say, Andy, I'm hungry. I want to win. I want to kill it. I'm not hungry. You know what I am? I'm starving. You know what starving means? Starving means I literally can't take it anymore. My skin's crawling. I'm itchy. I got to freaking make it. I got to win. And I'm not going to rest until I win. 
And guess what? I'll sleep with my shoes on. I don't care. Some of you guys are going to have to listen to me right now. This is the time to not be comfortable. Not be comfortable. You're comfortable in any way, you're not going to win. You take your, your foot off the gas in any way, you're not going to win. You're going to get your butt kicked. Guaranteed. freaking tea. All right, next part. When I'm saying I'm starving, you know how bad I want to win. I told you early on, you had to be what? A great speaker. Film yourself. Film yourself. Grab your phone. Put it on you. Film yourself. It's one of the best things you can do so that you can look back and see if you're actually getting better. Okay? A lot of people think they're getting better, but they're not. Okay? If you were to record yourself, do me a favor right now. When we're done with this, film yourself doing something. Saying a word track, overcoming an objection, doing a pitch, whatever. Now, I want you to watch yourself. And you're going to be like, dude, I'm not that good. I know. That's what I said. Go, back, go to YouTube right now. Watch this. Go to YouTube. Go to Andy Elliott. Watch oldest videos, the newest videos. The way I used to speak, the way I used to talk, everything that I used to do. You can see how I recreated, reinvented myself, and changed every five to ten videos. Okay? What did I do? I filmed myself constantly. And I was watching myself. I was like, oh my God, man. I thought I did a good job on that, but I didn't. I actually suck. Okay? Guess what, man? Cold, hard truth. Three words. Cold, hard truth. Have the cold, hard truth to believe that, look, man, you got so much potential in you, and you could become so freaking great that if you just watch yourself and film yourself, guess what? You'd compress time frames. Instead of taking 10 years to become great, you'd become great in freaking 10 days, uh, 10 weeks, however long it took. But you turn decades into days, which is what it's all about. All right. Become undeniably the best at what you do. This is important. Closing, write that down. Negotiating, write that down. Overcoming objections, write that down. Inbound phone calls, write that down. Outbound phone calls, write that down. What are you currently training on? Okay? You guys know this. The Master Closer seminars that I produce, they cover eight hours, five hours of content that's straight fire. Closing, negotiations, objection handling, how to sell, winning energy, everything, mindset, A to Z. I cover it over and over again. They're all different. Guys, go through those videos. Take a, take a spiral notebook. Take pen, piece of paper, and go through all of them and build yourself to be undeniably the best. What does undeniably mean? It means somebody may not like you. Let's say your name is Jake. They're like, Dude, I don't like Jake. I really don't, man. I don't like Jake. Okay, cool. You don't have to like Jake. But guess what? Jake's better than you. Jake is undeniably the best at what he does. Now, you may not like him, but you can't deny that he's the best. That's what I need you to be. If you can be that person, you can write your own check in life, okay? So become undeniably the best. What does that mean? That means now is the time to train. Andy, how much should I be training a day? 4% of your day minimum. You say, Andy, what is 4% of my day? One hour a day. How many days a month should I be training? How many days a week? You should be training every single day for a minimum of an hour a day, okay? And by the way, anything that's not written won't be retained. So if you don't take notes while you're training and studying, guess what? It ain't gonna work. So you need to take 30 to 45 minutes of watching content, watching courses, practicing, getting better, but also take 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and use that for recording yourself, okay? That's going to be the biggest probably impactor right there is going to be recording yourself and using film, okay? Do things that make you feel alive. Write that down. Do things that make me feel alive. I'm going to give you three things that make me feel alive, and I need you to make sure you write down three things that make you feel alive. Let me tell you what mine are. I want to share them with you. Number one, gratitude. I'm so grateful that I'm healthy. I'm so grateful I got a family. I'm so great I've got children. I am grateful. I literally am a very, very grateful person. I am going to use my gratefulness to my advantage to keep my perspective great all day long and keep me in a great mood. I see people all the time when you're going to get more and as we're growing to go to the next level and we want more, guess what? We become unsatisfied with what we have and we want more. Now listen to me. I want you to get more. I want you to go get one more of everything you want in life. And keep going. That's never going to end. If I went to the top of the mountain, I push the rock up there, I push it back down and go to a bigger one. 
I'm never going to stop grinding. But don't lose your gratitude. Because when you use your gratitude, it's ugly. It's unattractive. You won't like yourself and other people will like you. All right, discipline. First part that makes me feel alive, I feel alive when I'm grateful. Okay. Another part that I feel alive with is discipline. When I say I'm going to do something and I do it, I feel alive. I feel like I'm not a fraud. I feel like I'm not a liar. And guess what? I really like myself. And when I really like myself, I do well in life. So number two is going to be discipline. Number three is going to be purpose. Okay? Take care of people. Okay? Live a life worth living. Be a hero to your children. Go home and be great to your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Have them admire you and look up to you. Have purpose. Okay? Don't just do it for money. It's never going to be enough. Okay? I'm going to tell you this. You'll make more money than you know what to do with in your life when you have gratitude, discipline, and purpose. More than you know what to do with. Those things make me feel alive. When I feel alive, I crush my competition like that. So take those three things that I just gave you and keep those. All right. We got two more things, and then we'll finish off here. There's nothing worse than playing poorly. Write this down. There's nothing worse than playing poorly and still winning the game. So this market the last two years has been so good to everybody that a lot of people have been playing very poorly and they've still been winning. Isn't that crazy? You know, so you have a person and what do they have? They have an illusion of a false accomplishment. So you think you've accomplished something, but really at the end of the day, you didn't accomplish anything. You know why? Because it was all an illusion. See what I mean? So I want you to think about this. Have you been playing to the top game? Have you maxed out your potential? Maxed out? Write that down. Maxed out, which means all the way. Have you maxed out your potential? Or have you honestly been playing less than your full potential? Well, now's the time to go all in. And like I said, 99% of the market has been playing poorly and still winning the game. I've watched stores that should have gone out of business, and I've watched salespeople that shouldn't have made it that are out there right now celebrating. They've had their best month ever. They've killed it. They've crushed their competition and life is great. But guess what? They played poorly and they still don't know what they're doing. These people will have to answer to real skills soon. This is where your land grab is going to come through. This is where all your skill and paying off time and hard work is all going to come together. Okay. There is nothing more important than leadership development. Let me tell you something real quick. Leaders have people, managers have titles. I want you to think about this as we're ending where we're at. Are you a leader? Do leaders make leaders? Absolutely, okay? Some people, guess what they have? They have followers. I don't make followers. I make leaders, all right? So I want you to think of, about a couple things. What kind of example are you going to set to your family? What kind of example are you going to set to your children? What kind of example are you going to set to your own self? As you go through this first video when I first started talking all the way till the end, Here's the tactical stuff. There's 365 days in a year. You're going to train 365 days a year. You're going to start tonight. You're going to train for an hour a day. That's 4% of your day, period. You're going to become recession-proof and market-proof. You know why? Because you're going to stay in your lane. You're going to keep your head down. You're not going to celebrate. And guess what? You're going to give it all you got. And you're not afraid to get burned. You're not afraid to go through the heat. And guess what? You're going to want it more than anybody else, and you're going to stay stirred up. I want you to get training programs that help you scale and get better. I want you to know that every excess money, the extra money you have, should be being put towards you learning new skill and developing. If you can do these things, you will be unbeatable and unbreakable. But you got to be undeniably the best at what you do. You got to have work ethic that's stronger and better than anybody else around you. And what you have to do is be real careful who you surround yourself with, who you listen to. I want you to take a little circle right now, draw it on a piece of paper, and write down inner circle. Inner circle are people who believe in your dreams and believe in you and believe that things can happen. Listen to me. Those people, those people's names need to be in that inner circle. If anybody tries to talk you out of your dream or get you to play small, they don't love you, they don't care about you, take their name, get it out of the circle. But I want you to do one thing right now. Write my name in that circle. This right here, this bracelet, dream, dreams come with a price, okay? I have big dreams. I know they come with a price. Okay? I want you to take this bracelet right here, and when you text me, 405-482-1991,
Just text me your name, text me your address. I'm gonna mail you Dreams Come with the Price Bracelet, okay? Committed, 365. If you got a wife, if you got kids, right? Do me a favor, I want them to wear these with you. The next 365 days, you've got a business plan. The business plan, we just went over. You'll follow this business plan and you'll do everything I just told you to do. You will live a life that most people in this world dream of living, but you'll actually live it. You'll also be an example for other people to know that they can go get that life because you did. Your children will look up to you. Your wife will admire you. And you'll look in the mirror and you'll, you'll love who you see. Okay? I have no problem with mailing your family these, mailing your kids these. And if you got a couple co-workers that want them to, I'll mail you as many as you got. I got thousands of them, okay? I wear them every day. I give them away to everybody I see. My goal is to change the world. And guess what? This is a movement that I run. And I want you to change the world with me. Here's what I'll tell you. The biggest mass transfer of wealth is about to happen and people that were making 600 grand are gonna go back to making 60 grand. But some people that were making 60 grand are gonna to go to making 600 grand. You're gonna go up. You're gonna elevate up. This is your time. You can do this. Look, call your shot. And guess what? Don't back down, don't restart, and don't quit. Guys, I'm Andy Elliott. I love you guys. You're everything to me. I want you to train your butt off. Obviously, closing negotiations, objection course, whether you're on our dealer platform, you've been taking sales training courses from me, you go to YouTube, look at my oldest videos to my newest, look at the recreation process. It's your time to do that. Reinvent yourself, recreate yourself. You will be market proof ready, and I promise you this, okay? Stay away from people who speak negative, talk negative, try to warn you of things to come. Listen to me, I've already told you what's gonna come. It's gonna get hard for a lot of people. Look, there's those that get what they want in life and everybody else. Guys, so shoot me a text message, the 405-482-1991. I'll send you one of these bracelets or I'll send you a bunch for your family, your team. Kill it, crush it. This is our time right now to become undeniably the best at what we do, become so good at what we do, we make our competition look like amateurs. Let's kill it, guys.